Welcome to my daily report market videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hamtech on Tuesday, 16th of July. We've got a bit of a consolidation going on today. Uh, not a great deal in terms of direction, apart from what we have is sterling underperformance, sterling weakness coming through quite significantly on cable there, cable back below 25 big figure. That was a bit of a support that now reopens the low again, 24.35 area. And uh, this has come on um, again for the back Brexit chat with uh, the leadership uh, contest between um, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt for the next prime minister. Um, and they're both talking about um, the prospects of uh, how the, um, a deal could potentially be made. And uh, it doesn't look as though um, a time limited backstop is going to be one of the options that they're going, going to go for. So subsequently, it's uh, the, the prospects of a deal are dwindling. And um, subsequently, we see sterling under pressure as a result of that. Any time Brexit um, hopes get dashed uh, of a deal, then you see sterling under pressure. And we can see that today with sterling 45.50 pips down on the day. Now, uh, generally speaking, apart from that, a little bit of a consolidation. Although, interestingly, FTSE 100 outperformance cable lower, FTSE higher. That correlation still, that negative correlation still plays out there, doesn't it? The outperformance there of FTSE. But generally speaking, equity markets are pretty much neutral. You saw um, S&P 500 yesterday just creeping a very slight gain. Futures are flat today. Um, perhaps the uh, the markets are now sort of looking ahead towards um, retail sales this afternoon for the states and also the uh, comments of Fed Chair Powell this afternoon as well because obviously this uh, looming July uh, FOMC meeting is going to be crucial for how um, markets are going to move I think and subsequently we could see a little bit of direction off the back of that but in front of that pretty much consolidation a little bit of dollar strength just ticking higher uh, obviously, those gains um, of the dollar against sterling are key to that. But also, we're seeing marginal gains against euro, also the yen, and across the uh, the commodity currencies as well. Interestingly, the Kiwi is a bit of an outperformer still at uh, rebound on the Kiwi. The Aussie dollar is back lower again, not performing in line with the Kiwi. Uh, we had the minutes from the RBA, which uh, talked about the prospect of uh, rate cuts um, coming down the line. So. Um, subsequently, the Aussie has fallen a touch. But uh, broadly speaking, consolidation, but with a slight amount of dollar strength. Gold, basically flat. And you've got um, an interesting uh, consolidation on silver. Silver came back yesterday, uh, sorry, not silver, oil. Oil came back yesterday on the back of the, um, the uh, oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico coming back online, um, following on from um, the uh, tropical storm that they had the uh, uh, last week. Uh, but uh, now back online, so subsequently a little bit of consolidation after yesterday's dip. So um, takes me to my uh, data points for today. There are quite a lot actually. You've got um, UK uh, employment, you've got German ZEW, and you've got the US retail sales. So starting with the UK employment, um, expected to remain in line at uh, or as it was at 3.8%, but this is the interesting one, average weekly earnings. Uh, expected to stay at 3.1%. That is um, a pretty decent number considering inflation has been um, just slipping away. And uh, that real wage growth of around about a percent um, continues to uh, hold um, for the uh, for the UK. You've got German ZEW, which uh, is expected to, to deteriorate uh, to 20, minus 22.3. Uh, and also the current conditions, watch out for that, uh, which is expected to, to, to deteriorate to uh, five spot zero. So um, certainly it does have an impact on bond yields and also the euro. So watch out for that. Now at one thirty, we've got the uh, US retail sales data expected to uh, just be marginal growth on the month of June by 0.1% down from 0.5% back in, um, in May for the ex autos data. So uh, lots of key data today. Now my chance today is Euro Aussie which uh, the Aussie has been strengthening a little bit less so today. Um, but uh, it's interesting that uh, the Euro Aussie has broken down, actually. Is that a head and shoulders top pattern? I think it is. I think it's broken down below the 160, sorry, 160.20 on a decisive closing basis. And it really does look as though the momentum indicators are, are deteriorating. You can see that top pattern has come basically around the midpoint of the range. Um, Effectively, that is a pivot line in the middle of the 57 to 63.50 area. 
um, of the trading range we've seen um, Euro Aussie has been in for the past six months or so. Breaking down the middle of the range really does suggest we're turning corrective once more back towards 57 figure, um, which is the bottom of the range. You look at the, at the uh, daily RSI failing at 50, MACD lines falling below neutral and turning lower again, stochastics also turning back lower. So it would suggest that near term rallies are a chance to sell on Euro Aussie. And uh, I think that there is uh, continued pressure to the downside we're going to see. Now, you can see here on the hourly chart, um, old support around 6020 becomes resistance initially. You've got all these momentum indicators as well, um, which uh, have ticked up a little bit, but I still think intraday rallies are a chance to sell with the negative configuration. And I think further downside is likely to be seen. Now, you uh, just zoom back in here. You've got 59 figure as your next support. That's the reaction low from uh, earlier on in May. And then back again, 58 figure another reaction low before you see 57 figure area as the basis of support so i wish you good luck in your trading today um, don't forget you can uh, subscribe to my videos by clicking here but also go onto our website where you can sign up for uh, trading webinars of which i have one today so uh, i wish you good luck in your trading and i'll speak to you later